Hi, I'm Derek Charge, Product Manager with Rock Rock Automation. Welcome to the 450L How To Series of Short Videos. In this video we're going to learn how to perform alignment on a 450L E. Port 50 LE has integrated laser alignment system, which means it has a laser drop that shines out to the other light curtain. Uh, we have one on each side, uh, so when we press the optical switch, which is this part here, it's indicated, it's at the bottom of the indicator lamps and has a finger symbol next to it. Uh, you just put your finger over that briefly and it switches the laser on or off. It's also on a timer so it will switch itself off automatically if you haven't remembered to switch it off yourself. So there's a single dot comes from this laser on either side and it goes through a lens which splits the beam into um, more points. It fans itself all the way up the, the length of the light curtain. Now we can see that. If you use a piece of paper or you have a notepad or anything that's going to reflect that laser light, that's going to be useful for you to use. And you can see this is actually an aligned system, so I'm just going to knock that off and you can, you can see. So I'm taking that away, and we know it's not aligned because the out is on, it's on red, and the original intensity LEDs, which is these two arrows pointing toward each other, are both switched off as well. So if I, I want to bring my laser back in and what I want to be doing, I really need to be pointing at the opposite side. So the, the laser comes out at this point here within the white square and that's going to go to the opposite stick. So the one that's on on this side is pointing to here I want its laser to point to almost the same position, so the same level, which is about there, in the, the middle part of that black margin on the, the front optics window. As a rough guide, so this is an older stick, so as, as a rough guide, I always say to people, it's almost at the junction, it's just below the junction of the, the red enclosure and the grey end cap, so you really want to be you know, to about there. On the newer sticks, We've taken this laser warning symbol and inverted it and put it on the other side in the area where it should be aiming to. So that becomes a target for you to aim to. It's a, a much better visual guide. So let me just come back to this. So as the beams come closer to the stick, and you can see there we're, we're almost getting there, uh, it's, it's close enough at that, it's switched itself on. I'm just going to knock it off a little bit. Okay, so I'm now, I'm now away from the stick. We need to be watching the original intensity LEDs closely. So as I get closer and they start to detect, you can see they're flashing, which says I'm detecting some beam intensity. So I'm detecting on the bottom at this moment not the top, we need both to be aligned, so keep going, oh, yeah, I moved that a little bit too much, 
came in too good, so let's try again. Okay, so there you go. I don't even have the laser in the, the real target zone, but it's within the tolerance and it's good enough to, to be aligned. I prefer to go for the, the ideal setup, so I'm going to keep adjusting that. And you can see now that my dots are the laser switched off. So right. You can see now that the dots are exactly in the middle, all the way up to that margin. And that's how you perform alignment on a 450LE system. It's worth noting that that's just doing it from one side. This side was already aligned. You would perform exactly the same thing on this to this stick. So you'd put your laser alignment on, you make sure they line up in the target zone. Once your original intensity LEDs are on solid green, that's you good to go. We're now going to look at how you perform alignment on the 450LB. The B does not have the integrated laser alignment system, so it, it has a little bit more of a challenge to be aligned. But we have an accessory, the 440L ELAT, which is a laser alignment tool. Now it's only a single spot laser, so you, you need to use it in multiple positions and move it yourself manually. But it does the same job and essentially we're, we're doing more or less the same thing. You want to be looking at your regional intensity LEDs on both sides. Now that this is still the E sticks I have here. I don't have these in this demo, but um, the only difference is it doesn't have the integrated laser alignment system and these top few indicators aren't there. So what you would do and again, we're going to move this out of alignment so that we can bring it back in. This is just for demonstration. Switch this camera on. So you would clip this on. And we can do the same trick with the with the piece of paper. Now it's off to the side here. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it's it's off. It's over, it's over here somewhere. Um, so what we want to do is we want to just rotate it, rotate the stick until it comes into the, the face. And we actually, rather than aim for the side, on the B, we want to aim right into the centre of the lens. Okay, so I'm happy that that's right in the centre of the lens. On a longer stick, you probably want to repeat that a few times. Um, so you want to do the top and the bottom and make sure that you've got them in alignment. But this is a 300mm stick, it's really not that difficult, it's just quite easy to see that you're, you're in line and there's, there's no need to do the top and bottom clip, you could. And again, you would do that on both sides, so... You would do top, it's much easier to do with these top bottom mountain brackets. Now the disadvantage you have with this ELAT laser attachment is you're obviously causing a blockage in the protective field, so you can't go with the uh, regional intensity LEDs, you've really just got to go with the position of the LED on the stick. Know that you're, you're good, you're in alignment, you're in mechanical alignment, and then you can take this off and the system aligns, it's, say it's okay, and, and once you're in this position, if you haven't quite got alignment, you can then use the regional intensity LEDs uh, just by doing the, the small movements and you can look at the LEDs and you can see once they start to flash and go solid that you're in good shape. And again, we do that on both sides. Both sticks need to be in alignment. It's not 
like you do it one side and that's you set you to do it both sides. Once you're happy with the alignment of your light curtains, you want to make sure the brackets are fully tightened up and they can't move once they're in operation. So for the top bottom mountain bracket, you need a fine point Phillips or star crosshead screwdriver. And we just nip them up. Now you'd obviously do this top and bottom. I'm not doing bottom, but just for the purpose of this video, to keep it simple, I'm just showing you on the top, but in practice you would do top and bottom. And on the side mount bracket, there's the hex bolts, which you need a three millimeter Allen key or hex driver, and you would just tighten these up. Now I recommend using a torque driver, and there's a recommended torque of 4.5 newton meters for this. Try to tighten the bolts evenly, so do a little bit at a time. Don't don't put four and a half straight onto one, um, and just leave the other as it is. Try and do it evenly. You, if you do it like that, or if you apply more than 4.5 newton meters, meters, you may actually damage the cradle in the bracket, um, and that would result in you not being able to hold the light curtain steady, which could cause some operational problems and movements and vibration. So you don't want to do that. Once you have them all tightened, there should be no rotation there and your CC light curtains should run reliably 